I don't know why the big accounts and YouTubers don't make a complaint about it. No, it's because they buy gear. What, what, what exactly is he talking about? He's talking about how this happens in Centranos. Arguably one of the hardest bosses in the game, if not the hardest boss, in one of the hardest sections of the game. I'm talking Centranos, Amius the Lunar Archon. This is on stage normal. I'm about to go ahead and explain to you guys how exactly I did this. Maybe I can replicate it, but I'm not going to stress over doing it. I mean, the proof is right there in the pudding. It works. Uh, it also works full auto, but I'll, I'll dive into that. But the main thing here is this, right? And he's right. Why is it that we still get a majority, like we're getting supersonic, we're getting merciless gear and accessories, but why is it that we still only get five star gear? This is a section of the game that is meant for end game. Let's like, let's be real. This is something to achieve this. You're probably one of those people that have been playing for like, I don't know, five years, such as myself, or spending a lot of money, such as myself. I'm not spending money now, but I, I was spending money. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's uh, one piece right here that is a six star. Supersonic. Turned out to be pretty good. Perfect stats. All percentages. But these right here, all trash. For me. Whole, I know what you're going to say. Burrito. What the fuck, bro? Like, why are you you're so stupid? You're, you're <laughs> Obviously, you're going to want to keep that kind of gear. Yeah, you know what? You're right. But me, I've got my own agenda. I've got my own thing that I want to do, right? And so I'm going to do that. Me, I don't like keeping uh, five-star gear. If it's not six-star, if it's not uh, at least an epic and above, and if the epic has um, even one bad substat that I don't like, I sell it, right? So this is pretty, let me take myself off here. Uh, this is pretty much what I do. I look for anything one to five stars. I don't look at it. I don't care about it. I'm not going to spend the silver on it. Such a limited resource here. And I sell it. Same thing for here. I don't care if it's special. You know why? Um, because it's just something that for me, I'd rather have a very neat and kept, uh, well, what I consider to be neat and kept um, gear, whatever you want to call it. I forgot what it's called. I keep my, my things in order the way that I like to keep things in order. That's just the way that I am. And it has very little to do with what I want to like do in terms of like stats and min-maxing. Again, don't do what I do. As, as, I, as I've always said in my... Um, sorry, I'm kind of like jumbling my, my thoughts here as always. As I've always said for something like my masteries, whenever I do a champion god, I'm always saying like, don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy masteries. Don't do what I do. This is actually something I, I highly recommend that you don't do. Because there have been some mythical pieces with um, the potential for like a pentel roll on, on speed. But they were five stars, so I sold them. Like, that's actually kind of dumb. I'm gonna, I'll be the first to admit, yeah, that's not the smartest thing to do, especially if you're min-maxing. But then again, I'm here. I'm in the same spot as a lot of other players, ahead of many other players, because of, you know, I've just been set up already. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to... I'm tr the point of me saying that was... So you guys know I'm doing fine without them, all right? I haven't, I haven't put on a five-star piece of gear in a long time. I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. Case in point, it sucks that even on normal, which, by the way, this chest, this cursed chest, that you do these quests here, you get, uh, you know, your, these, these cursed candles, and you get the chest. The chest isn't really worth anything. Um, I, I like doing hard, but I haven't gotten around to doing hard. I might get around to that. But even on normal, which isn't exactly the easiest thing to do, especially if you don't have a, a super strong um, roster, like you should be getting, you shouldn't be getting any five star gear. I think, me personally, and apparently a lot of other people do too. Otherwise, uh, he wouldn't have commented that. And I've seen it in chat. A lot of people um, are against it. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive in to this team here. I did not come up with this team, by the way. All right, this was the first rotation of Amius when it was first released. And I forgot who it was already, but I did do a video on it, but I'm gonna rehash it here uh, for those of you who don't know. The way that this works is pretty much Cronum and Jamarsa work in conjunction to an extent, right? Anytime Cronum dies, as long as Jamarsa is in the team, Cronum comes back. Sun Wukong is gonna be here as a, a target because he is relatively weak as opposed to other people, um, and you, you want his HP to get low, which most of the time it is, or it does, so that the uh, Lunar Archon is going to target 
Sun Wukong instead of Cronum, allowing Cronum to do his HP burns, place the brimstone, etc., so on and so forth. Lydia is not really here for anything other than to stop him from coming back because he does have this annoying skill here where um, if you kill him, where is it? Right here. Revives Amius with 30% HP and 50% turn meter when killed while under the Eclipse buff, which I'll point out in a bit, and I'll complain something uh, else that I really think has... It's really stupid. Like, I'll, I'll get to it. This effect only activates if Amius is killed in his alt form. So if he dies here, then he comes back to life and you have to continue the fight, and it's really stupid. It's, it's such a convoluted um, fight that I don't, I don't really like. But... If you have Lydia in the team with Lydia's passive, you can deny that revive attempt. So you don't have to worry about what, when when you kill him. Razzlevarg is here just for the speed aura. I think I could even go faster if I wanted to. But I do want somebody who's going to die. But let me just see if I, if I have anybody with a, a speed aura that can apply everywhere. That's more than just 20%. We got 20% here. 18, probably not going to get one from you. Nope, it looks like he is the best of the best currently. I don't want to use the stronger one. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the run. If I can do it, I'll do it. If not, um, I'll just leave. But you guys saw that it works. Uh, this also works on full auto. Disclaimer about full auto, right? If you, like... Like, legit, you could just throw this in and let it run, and it'll do it. Like, it'll eventually do it. And I keyword on eventually, right? So, you can throw it in, like, on your phone, and or leave it on your computer, and the run will run itself. And I've done this before. I think I did it a couple months ago, where I just threw it in, and it was on hard, by the way. And eventually, it did it. If you see that the, the run loses, just hit replay. Eventually, it's going to work. All right? So let's go ahead, but there's nothing wrong with, if you just want to focus your time on it, there's nothing wrong with going in manually and doing this. As you saw, I did it in like five minutes. That was part of me stopping to go use the bathroom. I will try my best to explain some, some of the mechanics going on here to the best of my ability, but um, I'm not an expert, by the way. All right, so you can see everything. There's the rat bastard right there. You start off with just your A1s. You don't want to really land anything because right here, oh, uh, sorry, if you land a bunch of debuffs, he's going to use the A3, which is going to stun you guys. Also take any buffs that you have, so you don't want to place buffs. Turn them into their negatives. So if you have increased defense here, it's going to turn into decreased. I just noticed there's pigeons back there or birds back there. Um, if you have increased defense, it's going to turn to decreased defense, so on and so forth, with the respective um, alternatives. If you have a uh, decrease defense or weaken on Amius, that's going to be changed and reverted to, or not reverted, but changed to uh, the positive side of the buff. So if it's weaken, it'll turn into strengthen. If it's decrease attack, it'll turn into increase attack. Another annoying thing is this move right here, where he heals. So you can get him all the way down here. Like, let's say right now, if I wanted to just nuke him down, he's going to heal. So there's no point in trying to nuke anyway. So start off with all your A1s. There. Pay attention to the cooldowns. We have everybody who needed to die, die. Uh, except for Lydia, because she's she's just built different. Feel me? And um, ideally, normally in this situation, when he's about to use this move right here, you would want to make sure that you don't have your uh, debuffs on or any buffs on. And you don't want to, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Usually I have block buffs on, so I don't take the stun. But it looks like we're going to take the stun. If I wanted to now, I could go ahead and start using my uh, bigger moves. I'm not going to use the decreased defense or the weaken yet. I can start using the HP burns here. And I'm going to hit the A1 here as well. HP burns and poisons do not get turned into anything else. So you're totally fine just using HP burns and uh, and weakens. Now with Cronum's moves, this Berz uh, Berserker's Delight is going to attack, instantly activate those HP burns and then heal himself um, by the amount of, uh, what do you call it, burns that were activated. His A1 is going to increase the debuff duration. So you want to get him 
you want to get him to the point where you have like a bunch of HP burns on him, right? But for now, we're just gonna place the A1s. This is a, this is where things get kind of weird because even I don't know, right? Even I'm kind of like, well, what the fuck is going on sometimes? And so I don't know if I should place this or like what, what's gonna happen because he's gonna change soon. But let's go ahead and uh, let's just, yeah, let's just do it and see what happens. All right, let's place the block buffs. Oh, what? This is not my accuracy of Sun Wukong. Never mind. You can't block this, so there's that. Does he? Does he self buff here? Okay, so Sun Wukong is dead. I'm going to do this again. We're paying it. This is his Eclipse form. You can check to see that the Eclipse buff is right here. And we can also see his moves right here. This is a, his attack form, all right? So he's kind of really dangerous here in the sense that he can hit really hard and kill you. But luckily, we have um, Jamarsa's passive kick in, which um, works with his passive, bringing Cronum back. Um, he's got his HP burn here. So we're going to, when we get to Cronum, we're going to extend that instead of trying to heal ourselves, right? So we're going to do that, extend it. It's at three. He's going to change back to his uh, regular form here, I think. Or did he already? Oh, yeah, he already changed back to his form. Uh, I don't pay attention to the moon here. I pay attention to the buff. I'm pretty sure he's in his regular form right now. And so we don't want to place any negative debuffs or place any buffs on ourselves. So we're just going to hit the A1 with Lydia. I don't know if um, this is, does anything. We're looking a little bit low on, on Chronum here. And I don't think he's had enough turns to... Oh, yeah, right here, the passive. This is what's going to help him re or just activate his revival whenever it's time. So I'm going to heal. We're going to go ahead and activate those. But ideally, I want to extend those HP burns. Here we can go ahead and hit the A2. A big move right there. And we're activating it again anyway. So we take the stun. Brimstone also helps, by the way. So Brimstone's a big one. If you have champions that can place Brimstone... Um, if you're not trying to do this specific comp, I highly recommend trying to do them. All right, so he, his skills were on cooldown. He's not going to do anything yet. We're going to extend this. And he's about to change again. I'm just going to hit this. I don't think block buffs is going to do anything. It's not going to stop him. He's going to hit hard again. Boom. Extend that. Okay, so we're okay right now. We're in good shape because the passive is still up. And we can go ahead and if we wanted to, we could heal. But we're not going to because I think his, his A1 is going to hit us hard enough. By the way, his A1 ignores 100% of target's defense. That fucking sucks. Which means it's pure damage. Damage increases by 20% for each debuff on the enemy. And um, that's why you want to make sure that if you have a cleanser with you, you cleanse before he's able to attack. Otherwise, it's going to hurt a lot more. If you have... Um, if you have blessings, it's going to help. Obviously, this content caters to those who have the money to spend to summon the, the blessings, to get blessings, because there's damage mitigation, or not damage mitigation, but it decreases the amount of ignore defense that Amius does per uh, blessing levels. If you have one to two blessings, right now, Cronum has a one-star blessing, so it's only 5%. If three to six, 10, like, you, you guys get it, stacks up to 50%. Then when he kills somebody, he rolls into another move, into uh, this move right here. It's really annoying for him to just keep rolling back to back, and you're just sitting there like, what the heck, and you've done like a 30-minute run, right? So for here, we're just going to hit the A1. So I'm trying to explain as much as I can in case any of you guys don't understand. So of course, that's going to kill us, but we come right back. We're going to heal ourselves with our A2. We place the brimstone. We hit the A1, but we don't want to kill him. Because of this BS, except we have Lydia with us here. So that is how you do it if you wanted to do it manually using this specific comp. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the builds that I have for basically Cronum and Sun Wukong. I don't know if there's specific speed tunes, but um, I'm just going to show you what worked with me. I'm pretty sure there's guys out there that do have specific stats and everything but I'm, i don't know those things so don't ask me i'm just going to show you guys what works for me 
Lydia, okay, Nekmo's not wearing anything. He was just there for the speed aura. Jamarsa's not wearing anything. She was just there to die to activate his passive. Lydia is built for Hydra. I don't think there's any specific build you need for her. I'll show you guys anyway. We'll start off by looking at Lydia. Cursed set, protection set. Here are the uh, specific pieces of gear. Basically, uh, pretty cut straight and forward built for Hydra. And I'll show you the stats here. A uh, little bit of HP, a little bit of defense, mostly prioritizing those stats. 277 speed, some accuracy. Not the best, but, you know, it gets the job done. Fully booked. Brimstone for the blessing. The smite, as you saw, does a lot of damage. And then here are the blessings. As always, do not blindly copy masteries. But go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Sun Wukong, who does have a five-star blessing that we got from... I think an event. He's kitted out on lethal. He's really just there to die. So just remember that as I show you guys the specific pieces of gear. This is my Nuke Wukong, but I felt like he started to do enough damage by himself. So that's why I changed this to accuracy to have some times, some kind of a utility sometimes for buff removal and uh, block buffs. It helps. Because it eventually gets to a point where it's kind of like, all right, well, I mean, he hits hard enough. Stats, 7.6, point of diminishing returns, uh, 345 crit damage, 175 speed. Make him a little bit faster, but I, I like him uh, with attack boots just because sometimes you just want him to die. So he comes back and smacks that much harder. Soul Reap, basically um, just taking the hits, right? Because he's got low uh, HP, low defense. So Amius is going to target him. Helm Smasher, always don't blindly copy masteries. Copy those masteries, go ahead. Last but not least, we are looking at Crone Hammy. The main star of the show, we're looking at Cronum, built in Regen and Immortal. You want him to take, you want him to go fast and you want him to heal. That's the main thing. And you want him to have enough accuracy to do. So not the easiest thing to do, but if you have it and you're willing to uh, at least break other champions just to do Amius, if only on normal, then go ahead and do this. Specific pieces right here. Room to glyph, room to oil up. This is not my best regen or immortal gear. Before doing Amius, I had him broken, but I picked up random pieces of immortal and regen that I had lying around and I threw them on. We have a cleansing ring on him. 8% chance to remove a random debuff each turn. HP, you're looking for survivability stats and accuracy. So every time he takes a turn, he's going to heal by 18%. Here are the total stats. 60k HP, not a lot. Again, we're on hard. And 2,100 defense, which kind of helps. Uh, more is always better, but don't forget when he does his move in his ultimate, uh, alternate form, he hits and he ignores 100% uh, your damage or defense. 221 speed, 531 accuracy. I think 500 is right around where you want to be. Fully booked, Brimstone. This is important, uh, but there's no books for it. I'm just reminding you, Jamarson needs to be on the team. And don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. You do want to take counterattack where you can. If I could, I would redo this, probably take res and take improved parry because 8% uh, on a crit hit, which is usually what kills you, is a lot better than AoE 5%, in my opinion. And so that's where I would go if I could redo it. But you still want to take this stuff here. You could also take Shadow Heal because Amius does heal. You could take some of that healing for yourself as well. And uh, yeah, 